There's no place to escape to. This is the last podcast. On the left. <laughs> and one night, Playfair and Peggy noticed an indentation on a pillow that appeared to be the same size and shape as a child's head, even though no one had been laying there. Ooh. After seeing this, Peggy decided that the ghost was definitely a child, and she had good reason for thinking so, because years earlier, down the street, a four-year-old girl had been smothered to death by her father, who killed himself right after. Wow. The reason why Peggy thought that the spirit had settled into their house was because she, having been acquaintances of this family, had acquired some of their furniture. (laughs) Don't take the furniture! (laughs) So she died on this couch. Just run... Can we have it? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I can just take it then. You can take it. It's totally haunted. Yeah. It's going to ruin your life. That's great, but it's free. (laughs) Yeah, you can take it. And I can squat all over it. Yeah, it's going to ruin your life. It's totally haunted. Great. Yeah. (laughs) Now, once the activity started, she threw all that furniture out. Good. But she was convinced that the spirit had stayed behind. And speaking of Peggy's sensitivity, she said she could always tell when the poltergeist was about to make trouble as she'd get a headache in the same spot in her head right before everything went to hell every time. And I've got to tell you, it's different than any other pains me got. Yeah, I got hook feet. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I got sandy ankles. There's everything down there. I got rag lung. <laughs> <laughs> Hold you on, know, Hold you got rag lung. I got rag lung from the well, fibers. From the fibers of all the rags you clean. Always scraping and digging it, just at the hard stains on the rags. Well, I never heard of that before. Well, it's because you're not a rag woman, are you? <laughs> I'm not. I didn't even know there that was a job. I did not know that. 